Good day, Livestock Partners and Friends. Welcome to another exciting, lovely, and amazing episode of Life Talks with Aubrey Nicole. Today is a very special day because I have been sharing something that is very close to my heart. It spurs from my creative outlet doing this one every time that I feel inspired, motivated, and it is based from the observations and the learnings that I've gained all through my journey of life. As I always say, every day is a special day to learn, realize things, and figure out life's adventures and challenges. So for today's episode, I want to share with you my realization on probably the most dynamic, ever-evolving, life-changing emotion of all of us. It's something that we felt, we feel, and we will feel as we journey towards this roller coaster ride of life. Guess what is it? Yep, you're right. It's L O V E or love. Well, you might be wondering, Aubrey Nicole, there are different forms of love? Really? How many types of love are there? Which type of love I am in? Or what is really the definition of love? Or how can I find out if somebody loves me or if I am in love? Well, friends, to tell you honestly, probably you are not just classified or categorized in one single kind of love. Throughout our journey and our lives, we encounter, feel, and show many kinds of love through either words, emotions, actions, and many ways. As we grow older, love evolves, love grows, and we perceive love from a whole different perspective. What we think love when we were young is different and a whole new version of love today. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, or more later. Love is a whirlwind of emotion. It is something that goes up and down. We don't always feel love as a bed of roses. And a part of parcel of love is that sometimes we also feel that we are in the bed of nails. Love can be found in many situations, events, and circumstances. Join me as we journey to various forms of love in this freeform poetry that I made. Are you ready? Let's get started. When I look around me, I see people journeying life, their destiny, choosing the kind of path and person they want to be. You will see with their faces, especially in their eyes, the struggles they face, the feelings they try to hide, and the emotions that are behind their smiles. But every one of them, in one way or another, experience love in many ways and in many forms. What is love? Where can I find love? What is the meaning of love for me? When will I feel love? Those are the common questions people ask. We always look at love the same way how other people find it, have it, or experience it. But we are blinded by the fact that love for me might differ from how you will feel and you will experience love. Love may come in an unexpected moment, unexpected time, place, or circumstance. Love might be there just within the corner. It's just that you failed to see and realize it. Love can be preparing food for someone when he or she is busy working on a deadline late at night. Love can be trying a food you don't like because that's what's your person like. Love can be late night talks, just in bed, just laughing and having some tickles. Love can be accepting each other's farts at random times, no matter how smelly it is. Love can be, uh, how are you? Are you okay? Or is there something wrong? Love is accepting one's flaws and imperfections and having the patience and tolerance to deal with difficult and hard days. 
love is writing love letters, notes, or messages online or handwritten. It is making efforts, substantial, simple or grand, little or big actions, as long as it's from the heart. It is love. Love can be sharing one last cookie. Love is making a coffee or baking cookies for someone. Love is being corny or cheesy with pickup lines and lame jokes. But still, you laugh because it is the thought that counts, or at times, admit it, it is really funny. Love is being crazy, dancing and singing your heart away. Love can be complimenting someone not only on their physical looks, but the inner characteristics that make them who they are and how wonderful they are. Love is making time, sacrificing your time, spending time no matter how long or short it is. Love knows no gender, age, or background. Love is love when you feel it and you know it's real and true, then it's love. Love goes beyond distance, time zones, cultures, and differences. Love is trusting someone with your heart, hoping that they will take care of it and value it. It is trusting despite the fear of getting hurt and feeling pain. It is accepting fault and mistakes no matter how difficult it is. Love is saying, I'm sorry. This is a wonderful feeling which will bring out the best in you, but at times may be the worst in you. It's a long winding journey with many destinations, many challenges, many detours, many questions. There may be stopovers in traffic, but what is meant to be will always, always find its way back to where it belongs. Love is being venerable showing that you are weak and you break down sometimes. Love is being strong for the one you love, leading them to follow their dreams, their goals, their aspirations, and the things they want to achieve in life. Sometimes, love is also letting go. It is freeing someone for them to be happy, even if that happiness is not with you. It is setting someone free accepting that there is love that are parallels which may be they have a lot of common or similarities but never meet or they are intersecting love where they are destined to meet but drifted apart and is never meant to be at times love is saying goodbye or love is still death to us part Love is still one's last breath, after life or forevermore. Love is also acceptance. Love is saying a prayer. Love is wishing someone the best. Love is sacrifice. Love is wishing someone nothing but the best in their lives, even if you are not a part of it, or if you were once a part of it, but not anymore. Love is also being tired, but never giving up. Love is sometimes being exhausted and empty, but always finding a reason to be full again. Love is staying and finding a reason to stay no matter how small or big the reason is. Love is fighting for that vow, fighting for that commitment and promise made. Love is going through this ever-evolving waves of life, challenges, fights, adversities, hardships, and difficulties. And love is more than the three words, I love you. It has also been words such as, I care for you. You are important. You matter. You mean the world to me. And I am always with you. Love can be a mixture, a combination, and can even go beyond the five lo- love languages we knew. Love is not always I, or I am, or even me. It is also not always you, but to make it work, 
it should be we and us together. Love is teamwork. To make it work, love should be both hand in hand, working, trying so hard, despite how difficult it is to make it work, to make it last forever. Love is figuring life together, making choices and decisions together, and exploring the world with each other. Love is accepting each other's flaws and imperfections. Love is not just romance and relationship. It can be seen and manifested within families, friends, daughters, sons, a father, mother, sister, brother, cousins, and many more. Love is also taking care and appreciating oneself. Because first and foremost, you. Yes, you. You deserve to be loved and to love. And love can be seen in a hundred, thousand, and millions of ways. You just have to have your eyes open and your heart ready to accept and feel love. I always remember this movie called Just The Way You Are, with the line which I will quote, When you love, you always win. Because even if you get hurt, you will gain something from it. And love will always make and leave you with a stronger heart. We get hurt because we loved. We love even if it hurts. We take a risk. We are willing to go beyond what we know and what we can for the person that we loved. Never get tired of loving despite all those hardships, despite pain, despite being broken. Because those pain is your armor and it will lead you to becoming a better, a braver, and a stronger person. Always remember that there is always hope. There will always be someone willing, ready, committed, and wholeheartedly dedicated to love and care for you. It's all a matter of time. Just wait and hope. There are billions of people in the world, and I firmly believe in my own opinion that each one of us are destined to experience and to have loved in our lives. It's just a matter of time, a matter of waiting, a matter of hoping. And love is always a choice. It is our choice, the loved, show loved, have loved, and be loved. It is always choosing to love. To love despite everything, every single day, every moment, in a hundred lifetimes, with hundreds of reasons, and a million of times. As Lara Jean says, love is choosing him or her every single day beginning, middle, and end. What I wanted to point out in this episode is that love can be seen in many ways. Love is just there, just right in front of you. But sometimes we just fail to see it because we are looking for the biggest, the grandest, and the most beautiful kinds of love. Love is an emotion love is a feeling but love also branches out to many things in many ways and many actions in many words but what we wanted to see is that is this love really real or genuine or is this a superficial kind of love there are a lot of kinds of love And it is our choice to choose what are we willing to accept and what are we willing to give. It's all a matter of choice. But at the end of the day, we should always choose to love. We should always choose to love despite of everything. Because that is what will keep us going. That will keep us going 
and holding on in life despite how heavy, challenging, hard, and difficult life is. Life is a series of ups and downs with every destination that we are journeying. There's a lot of choices with much bigger and harder decisions. But if we choose to love, if we choose to give love, to love rather than to hate, to love and forgive rather than to keep it just within our hearts, the heaviness, the sadness. If we choose to love despite all the odds, if we choose to love and choose to love every single day, in one way or another, things will be better. This is just my perspective about love, but I wanted to leave a message with all of you guys. What are you willing to give and to choose for love? What is love for you? Look around you, observe, or reflect and realize things. You might have the love that you were searching for all this time. It's just that it's just right around the corner and you just fail to realize and see it because you are looking at another direction or you're looking at the far beyond corner when it's just right in front of you. Love can be sometimes in disguise. It might be on the simple things that we just encounter every single day. It's just that it's always just one thing and waiting for you to know to be noticed. Or it's just waiting for you to see it. Love is also a game. You could just find it. You just have to find it. Find it in li- little and simple things. And you'll see. You'll be surprised how many kinds of love is there around you. You just have to open your eyes and ready your heart. As an end note, always choose to love. Because love, love is everything. Love is something. Love is anything. Wherever you are in the world, whatever walk of life you are in, always remember that in one way or another, there will be There will always be someone, something, that is willing, ready, committed, and wholeheartedly dedicated to love and care for you. It's all a matter of time. Just wait and hope. Love, Aubrey Nicole. Like us on Facebook and Instagram page Life Talks with Aubrey Nicole. Share with me what you think and your suggestions by leaving a voice message on my Anchor FM account or sending us a message on the Facebook and Instagram account. Remember, share us your love story so that you can get a chance to be featured in my next podcast episode. This is Aubrey Nicole signing off. Take care, everyone.